Hey, what's going on guys? If you've been following me for a while, then you know that occasionally I like to take a technology or a tool for web development and programming and just touch on the basics. There's a lot of info out there, but oftentimes it's explained in a much more complicated way than it really needs to be. So in this video, we're going to take a look at curl or CURL. Curl is a tool for uh, for transferring data to and from a server and for making various types of requests. Uh, it's a great tool for testing REST APIs, downloading files, and so on. Many developers would prefer to use something like Postman to test APIs, but Curl is another option, and it also supports just about every protocol under the sun. You can see here uh, it supports HTTP, HTTPS, uh, FTP, IMAP, and POP3, SMTP, so it supports all these different protocols. All right, in this video, we're going to be working with HTTP and FTP. So as far as your environment and your operating system, modern versions of OSX and most Linux distributions have curl and libcurl installed by default. If you're using Windows, there's a few different things you can do. You can download it from here, curl.hacks.se. Uh, but what I would recommend is to use git bash. Okay, so this is git for Windows. It's at git-scm.com. I would suggest downloading and installing that if you don't have it already. Um, it gives you uh, it gives you a whole bunch of Unix-based commands that you can use, including curl. Uh, it's also just a better command line than the the standard Windows uh, or even PowerShell. So I would suggest that. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to open that up. We'll say git bash. Okay, and this is it right here. And if we say curl dash dash help. It'll show us all the different options that you can use with your curl commands. There's just a ton. Okay, we're just we're just scratching the surface today with um, using some uh, working with the HTTP protocol as well as um, FTP. All right, now the the site that we're going to be working with is JasonPlaceholder.typeycode.com, and this is basically a, a fake online REST API that we can use for testing and stuff. So if we scroll down here, you can see the different routes that we can use. So slash posts will give us 100 items. Comments will give us 500. We have albums, photos, to do's and users. And if I click on, for instance, posts, you'll see it actually gives us 100 posts. If we go down to the bottom here, you'll see ID 100. All right. So that's what we're going to be working with. Now, if you wanted to just get a single post, you could just go slash two, for instance, and that will give you the uh, the post that has the ID of two. All right, you can also make different types of requests. You can make a post request to slash post, a put, which is an update, uh, patch, or a delete request. Now, it's not going to actually delete stuff off the server. It's just for testing. So what happens is it'll give you a response back. Okay, it's not going to actually update anything in their database or anything like that. It's just for testing. And you can also install this locally if you want through NPM. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to go over into the command prompt. I'm just going to make this a little bigger. OK, we'll clear that out. And the first thing I want to do is simply say curl. And then we're going to grab this. Uh, not that we want the posts. So we'll go right here and just grab this and paste that in. And we'll go ahead and run it. And notice that it gives us all 100 posts. OK, that's the response we get. Now, if we wanted to get a single one, again, we could just do curl and then that URL and then let's say slash three, run that and it gives us the post with the ID of three. All right. So if you're creating a REST API, this is a really good tool to test this stuff out. Now, there's a ton of options. I'm not even going to get close to, to them all, but uh, one option is to use the dash I flag here. So let's just say dash lowercase I and run that and what that does is it includes all the header information okay so things like the content type you can see it's json um, the length uh, what else access control um, cache stuff um, some stuff that i don't even understand but uh, that will include the header now if you just want to get the header you could use uh, either dash dash head i believe yep or you could do you could use the capital I flag. So if we go, yeah, capital I, and then that just gives us the head as well. 
most of these options have a dash version and then a dash dash version. All right, so let's say we want to to make the request and get this get all these posts and put it into a file. Okay, so for that we can use dash lowercase o or dash dash output. So what I'll do here is actually let's I'm going to navigate to a different folder. I'm going to go to my test folder and let's see what's in there. I have hello text. I'm actually going to delete that. So I'm going to do an rm r and then hello.txt. All right, so that will delete it. Now I want to make the request, so let's go back to uh yeah, we'll go right right here. This is all the posts. And then I'm just going to add on a dash lowercase o. All right. Now I also want to specify the name of the file that I want this stuff to go in. So let's say test.txt. All right. So if we run that and now we take a look, we have test.txt. And if I do cat test.txt, you'll see we have all of the uh, posts in that file. Now we can also download files with curl. So if we were to do uh let's take away the test txt and then use an uppercase o here and that'll download it. So if we go ahead and run that, you'll see now we have uh this post file. It doesn't have an extension or anything, but if we were to say cat posts, you can see they're all in there. Now if we wanted to download let's say an image for instance this one right here let's go ahead and copy the image address and then we'll go over here and say curl dash uppercase o and then we'll go ahead and paste that in that image all right now if we look you'll see we have the the png image now we can also limit the transfer rate for a download let's go back to that command and then we're just going to add on right here we'll say dash dash limit dash rate uh and then we'll say 1000 bytes. All right, and that'll download it with that limit to the the data transfer. So let's say we wanted to make a post request to actually add data to the server. And like I said, this is only a this is a fake REST API. It's not going to save anything if we make a post request, but it will give us a um a proper response if it goes through. So what we're going to do here is say um curl and then dash d you can either use dash d or dash dash data and then we want to put some quotes and let's say we want the title to be hello and let's say the body so we'll say and body equals hello world all right so that's the data we want to send then we need the url which if we go down here you can see you're allowed to make a post request to slash posts so we obviously want that entire url which is this right here and then we'll go ahead and put that in here and let's run it and you can see it gives us a response with the title the body and the id is 101 okay because there's 100 stored here and the id is auto increment so the next one is going to be 101 Okay, I mean it's not going to get saved if we reload this. You're not going to see it here, but it was a successful response. Now we can also update data with put. I'm making a put request. You'll see if we go back here and look at the routes, you can make a put request to post slash and then whatever ID. So let's go over here and just bring that back up, and we're going to say post slash three, and let's just do the title. hello and then we need to add on right here and specify that we want uh, a put request and we also want to use this dash capital x flag so if we run that and what happened oh you know what i did that wrong we have to do dash x We don't want the data right there that dash dash data. All right, so we run that. Wait, that's not right either. We do need the D. It just has to go after put. Sorry about that, guys. So right here, we'll do dash D. 
Okay, so now you can see we, we, we took the ID of three and we changed the title to hello. Okay, so that's what it gives us back. Now to make a delete request, same thing, we're gonna go back and let's change, for instance, we don't need this. We don't need the dash D, all we want is dash X and then delete. Okay, and that made a successful delete request and you can see there's nothing back. We're getting back an empty object. All right, now oftentimes when you're creating an API, you want to have some secured routes. So if that's the case, then you just need to add in a couple things. So let's say curl, and then what we would do is dash u, and then put your username, colon, and then whatever the password. All right, and then you want your, you know, whatever comes next. I don't have anything to test with, but that's what you would do if you had something where you needed to authenticate. All right, so next we have the dash uppercase L flag, and that's going to follow a redirection. So let me give you an example. If we say curl HTTP google.com, um, basically we're getting this response that says 301 moved. Okay, the document has moved to www.google.com. Same thing if we go in the browser and we say HTTP google.com, it redirects us to the www version. All right, now if you want to actually follow that, then you have to add um, the dash L flag. So let's do that, uppercase L. And now you can see it gets google.com for us and it gives us all this crap, okay, from, from that URL. All right, so next thing I wanna do is show you how to work with uh, the FTP protocol, which is file transfer protocol. And um, I have FileZilla installed, and I'm connected to my Traversy Media website in a test directory. Um, so what we can do here is we can upload a file through FTP using curl. All right, so I'm actually going to, let's see, I'm going to go to that test directory. And let's create uh, a new file, and we'll just call it hello.txt. And let me just open that up. And we'll just say, hello world, save that. And then I want to upload this to my FT, to my uh, server using FTP. So to do that, we'll say curl. And we want to put our credentials just like we would, as I showed you before, we want to use dash U. And then the FTP account, which for me is test at traversymedia.com. All right, and then we want to Put the password colon and then the password i'm deleting this account before i upload the video so don't bother trying and it just goes to a test folder anyway all right and then we just want to add the dash t flag and then the name of the file which is hello.txt and then we're going to do ftp and it's going to be ftp dot traversy media dot com all right so that should do it let's go ahead and run it could not resolve oh i forgot the f all right so it should have uploaded let's go over here and refresh and now you can see hello.txt now we can easily download files as well so what i'll do is delete this hello text and then what we want to do is go and change this capital T to a capital O. Get rid of this file name here. And we'll say ftp.traversy.media.com slash hello.txt. All right. And then if we look, you can see that it's been downloaded. All right. So that's, what we're, that's all we're going to get into now. There's a lot more you can do with curl uh, stuff that's a little more advanced. Maybe we'll visit that later on down the line. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight as to um, what it does and, and maybe you can use it in your uh, in your endeavors. All right. So if you like this video, please leave it a like, subscribe, all that stuff. All right. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.